Hello and welcome to round one, back nine action of the 2024 St. Patty Sling, brought to you by the Greater Oconee County Disc Golf Club. The event is held on the Sertoma Disc Golf Course Spicy Layout. Catch cam today, we have Michael Baker. Walkthrough footage by Vern Wyant. And the commentary team is Vern Wyant and Heath Rankin. On the card today, we have Alex Durham from Central South Carolina. Lauren Fleeman from Pickens, South Carolina. Reed Ward from Chester, South Carolina. And Heath Rankin from Seneca, South Carolina. Hole 10 is a par 3, 219 foot hole, but don't let that distance fool you. There's trees right in front of the tee box, to the left of the fairway, to the right of the fairway, and it is the hardest hole on the course. All you have to do is make it out here to this opening, and oh, by the way, the basket's on the slope. Alright, here we are with this gap again. Alex is what gap? Yeah. Uh, throwing his what? He hit something, hit a root or something very unfortunate. That was going to be a great shot. Mm -hmm. Speaking of aces, though, this is my best one to date. I got this what? one. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Mm. So, what did you throw to ace this? Um, I threw a G Star Sidewinder. A little hyzer flip straight up the middle. It was going to be 60 long. But <laughs> Thank goodness the basket got in the way. The basket got in the way, yeah. <coughs> Just right. Mm. This gap is so hard to hit. Going with the crave here. Dang, boys. Yep. You can hear Reed. We uh, <laughs> only one got through the gap. It's another one where Alex is getting strokes on everyone. This is a tough place to be. Man, great shot. Yeah. Took with that little tree there towards the end, but you hit that gap. I get my chance to self to save par. If you haven't played this course, if you get off the fairway, it's just chill. Mm -hmm. The big trees are there, but it's all these little skinny trees that'll just... Yeah, I mean, you've signed up for a bogey at least. It's tough. Mm -hmm. That's the one reason we didn't really add anything spicy to this hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's a great putt. Just a little high. Reed taking his time. That's a great bogey. Mm -hmm. Me hoping to save this par here. Then you do. Cashing it. I think at this point now your putting stroke has found the found yeah, it's, rhythm. Alright, hole 11, 322 foot par 3, uphill the entire way. Again, we didn't add too much spiciness to this hole. It's already a pretty tough hole, but on the right, there's hazard. If you land in the tall grass beyond the paint, you just want to keep it in the fairway on this one. Alex with the hex again. Looked like he was about three inches from that tree when it came God. through. I think so. Well, barely. What do you throw in here? This is the scorch. This this disc makes me look like I can throw far. <laughs> <laughs> Very glidey. Made the correction. Just it's too low, and that disc is not stable enough to come out of it. You know, looking at this gap here. The toughest thing about it, besides the shape of it, is just that, that one tree on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. it's leaned over slightly, so it makes you double-think. Yep. Oh, that was 
horrible. Just okay. just turned it over a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. You know, this is our second year doing the St. Patty Sling. And year two, it got a little spicier. <laughs> and so players are loving it. So next year, it might be even spicier. Nice. <laughs> Larry just uh, getting it right. Reed is in jail. Again, this is why you really don't want to make this OB because Reed is punished being there. Yeah. He's just going to pitch out, yeah. Yeah, making the wise decision here. It's tough to do. Um, you know, I've heard people refer to this as the toughest throw in disc golf, just laying up, pitching out. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're trying something like a, a forehand or a tomahawk or whatever out of here, yeah, you could end up with doubles and triples and, and worse. Well, I've seen players, you know, where he's at, try to throw the roller. Mm-hmm. Get it too straight, and you roll right into the hazard. Mm, and yeah. then you're really punished. And you see, Larry's on the line, so he is inbounds here, putting for a birdie. Just high. That's just uh, low. Gee, is that circle's edge right there, you think? Mm hmm. That was a good drive. Great drive. Good putt. Yeah, 322 with the elevation, I imagine, this plays closer to like 350. I would say so. And of course, you got Alex going along with the mid here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wow. feeling that putter. Yeah, everybody else is throwing drivers and things, and Alex is throwing the mid, and it probably feels like he's just playing a different course right now. Yeah. Good par for Larry there. Mm-hmm. Pull 12, spicy layout. We've got a little bit longer shot over the tee pad. It looks back to the right here. You want to come in easy with something that's going to hit in front of the basket and slide up to it. Alex with that green putter. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. touchy. It's such a good shot. That's exactly how you want to play this one. Going with the Berg here. Nice and high. This is kind of what you're looking for to get the ace. Yeah, you were looking for an ace there. Yes. <laughs> About a week before this uh, tournament, I actually got this one. Oh, man. So kind of running that same shot at it and just left that's not where you want to be but he got a good kick I think Let's see if Reed can make that correction from round one that's that same high floaty shot that didn't hit anything yeah Larry just laying that one up. Probably mm -hmm. a smart move. Oh, yeah. yeah. Reed with kind of the same putt as he had the first round. Good, too. Yeah, that was a obstructed putt back there, so it's a good mm -hmm. birdie to pick up. Reed not happy about that par there. All right, hole 13, 271 foot. This is uphill the entire way. You've got that tree in the middle that is just a big obstacle to get around. You got trees at the end here that also block the shot and hazard is along of the basket. 
Alex throwing that hex again. Almost the same as round one. Mm -hmm. Going with the forehand. This is a Venom. It's a faster speed disc. I'm trying to get a skip up there. It's just early and right. Ooh. I think Larry's going with the titanium buzz. Just low, but what a great shot. Yeah, amazing skip. Yeah. Use that last little slope as a launching pad there. Mm hmm. Reed just pushes it too straight, but he'll have a putt out of there. And this is absolute gel, as you can see. It felt like you were open there, but all those little vines and yeah. things hanging down there. We're just going to lay that up. I left myself with a long putt here for par. Yeah, just left. Mm. Obstructed putt. That was a hard one to get in. Yeah, down on the knee. Mm-hmm. There you go, Larry getting a birdie there. Mm -hmm. And almost missed that one. <laughs> Got the bogey. And I walk right in front of the camera <laughs> as I apologize. <laughs> All right, hole 14, par 3, turn 84 feet. Spicy layout here. You want to throw something that's going to get into the short grass and not the tall grass. And be careful you don't come in too hot or you're rolling or skipping away. And just turns it over way too much, but he skips and bounds. It's a daunting tee shot. It's it's wide open, but you're throwing across hazard. That's all you see. You don't see the basket or anything in bounds. So Alex throwing the spike hazard again. Wow. Mm. Read with this compass again. Yep, same disc. It's a good move on it. Yeah. How the heck did it get through all that? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> he turns it over a bit much, but got a fortunate kick back in the fairway. It's the eagle again? It's the eagle again. I think I just pulled it right. Just not where you want to be. Mm. Smart move here. Just pitch yeah, it up. Just lay it up. Yeah, me and Larry were in similar places. It's it's jail. For him to hit the cage, that's incredible. Wow. There is not a putt out of there. As you can see, I'm resorting to a roller. Put on a good angle with the berg. And yeah, it that's... Back. Yeah, good play. Let's see if Alice can keep that putting stroke going. Of course he can. <laughs> Man, great putt. Uphill outside the circle. Yeah. Good putt for you as well. Good par save. That's a great par. When I saw the light, I assumed it was a bogey because <laughs> it was jail. All right, hole 
15, 187 foot downhill the whole way. Just want to take a putter and throw it straight, kind of hit the ground right in here to scoot up to the basket. Just got to avoid the cluster of trees on the right there and the left. Uh -huh. Of course, Alex just puts it on a rope to the basket. <laughs> Man. That's me. Sorry. I think Larry's throwing the PA2 here. See if he can keep it straighter. It's a little bit of Anheuser on it. That's a great shot. Yeah. A little bit of a headwind here. You can see that branch with the flowers on it to the left moving. Reed keeping it low. That's just, that's a smart play. Uh -huh. A little short. I didn't get over on mine round one and it was a little high. Let's see if I can make that correction. And that's much better. Yeah. Under the basket. You were hunting. Kind of a long putt from Reed here. Left a little meat on the bone. Taking his time. That's such a good putt. Great putt from Reed there. Probably closer to the 40 feet range. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boom. It's got a long putt from you as well. Yeah. Oh, that's so loud too. That's yeah. just not what you want to hear. He wanted it though. He was right on line. I personally never mind doing that. I'd mm -hmm. rather do that than hit the cage. Yeah. Because <laughs> they can drop in if they're high. But if they're low, you never had a chance. Hole 16, 173 foot par 3, up the hill and to the right, you want to turn over something like a putter or a mid-range um, and have it land soft here at the basket. Come on Alex, get in the bucket. Yeah. Alex is just on automatic at this point. Yeah. This back nine, he has kind of put it to it. Smooth shot from Reed. Mm -hmm. I'll see if you hit the gap where he just hit it. You stay inside and right. You don't fool with that left side and get obstructed with the putt. So yeah. you definitely want to keep it on the right side. A new disc from you here. What are you throwing? That's a watt. Oh, okay, it's the watt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I used to throw the forehand a lot, but there's a tree right in the center that I would always hit. Mm. I was gonna say yep. that hard hit. That one right there, uh, that's exactly why I stopped throwing the forehand. I looked in the whole way. It's just you can see how uphill it is after that putt. Yeah. I feel like you give Larry another you know, four to six weeks get back into playing again and those putts are going to start dropping. That's yeah. a good one from you. And that's a tough one. I was actually putting between the trees. <laughs> a trick shot. It's a trick shot, but uh, glad it went in. There's Alex. Yeah, he's on cruise control. He's just yeah trying to get as many birds as he can to get that rating up for the round. Mm-hmm. Alright, hole 17 from the spicy, um, as you can see all this uh, green here is hazard, you want to at least get in bounds across that, hit this tight gap, it's downhill, but it, it throws about like 400 feet from this long tee. Alex throwing the hex and just mashing this thing. 
hits a tree, but that was such a great shot. Oh, yeah. You hit the gap as, as well as he did. You doing something. As you can see, this, this gap is just tight from this tee pad. Mm -hmm. And Reed hits the gap perfect, just a little high. Good tree. He's yeah, got a putt for Bird. There. Yeah, pretty much where he was the first round, I think. Yeah. I'm throwing the Crave, trying to get the flip up shot, hold that angle. It was almost perfect, just just, mm -hmm. just a little wide. I'm not sure what Larry's throwing here. Just turned over too much. This is a tough shot from where he's at. That is yeah. a great up shot. Here, I'm just hoping to lay up the par, get out of here. That's fortunate tree there. Yeah, a couple friendly <laughs> ones. Yeah. Alex just laying that up. He wants yep. no part of a bogey at this point. That is so unfortunate for Reed. Great putt. Yeah, you, you can see Larry's putts already improved since round one. Mm -hmm. Probably not what Reed wanted to do, but a smart move here. Yeah, you don't want to roll away again. Yeah. Great par save. Yeah, the putter finally got moving. <laughs> oh. Hole 18. Here are the trees on the left-hand side you want to miss. Those two little guys together. And then after that, it's just straight to the basket. Don't go at it too hard though, you want to slide OB into the creek. And even throwing this initial tee shot, you got this tree right off the tee in the middle of the fairway. Mm -hmm. If you hit that just right, you can kick OB in the creek. Oh yeah. Alex with his watt again. <laughs> Alex, self commentary, what are you doing? See, that's a scary shot the way you threw that. If it hits that tree just right, it's going OB. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Just barely right. Yeah. Really wanted to. Yeah, 36 hole of the, of the competition here. It's easy to, to let your, your mind slip a bit. Mm hmm. Very going with a little flex. Yes, Forehand with a zone. That's a great shot. Oh, yeah. Very safe to stay away from the creek. Are you just letting it go early and right? You know, it just occurred to me, I don't know that I've ever seen this course with leaves on the trees. I'm always here in the in the spring mm. and in the fall. Or the winter, excuse me. This, this course plays a lot harder once the greenery is in. Mm -hmm. A lot of the fairways tighten up. Tee shots are a little harder. And for our early March day, this was actually a really hot day. Yeah. We had a few days of rain leading into it, and then suddenly the clouds parted, and we had beautiful weather. Just trying to lay it up and get a very unfortunate roll. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
uncomfortable lie for Larry here. Yeah. A good bit at it, but... He laughs it off. I know the frustration, but... Unfortunate bogey for me to finish the round. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I was wore out at this point. <laughs> and you still had a lot of TD duties to go. Yep. Alex closing it out with a, a sizable gap for the lead. Yeah. Like I said, it was a hot day. I think a little bit of fatigue started to kind of set in. Yeah. Alex winding up big, almost getting the thousand rate around 993 for shooting nine down. Uh, Reed coming in with a 905, two down. Heath a 918, good comeback. Yeah. Um, and Larry with 893, so definite improvement on the second round. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.